I think right at the beginning, students need to go through a process of thinking about where they want to be at the end of school. If somebody wants to study, you know, English and have a broad sort of liberal arts college, a four-year institution, you know, might be a great place for them. If they're not quite sure yet what they want to study, looking at a community college for two years where you can get a much cheaper rate to get your general courses out of the way that can transfer. That's really, really important. Uh, for students who have who maybe need a less traditional route. You know, I think looking at community colleges, again, looking at part-time programs, there are some great online programs. You have to look at what are the services that are offered for students to be able to help them succeed. What are the costs per credit hour that you're actually spending to get your degree? What are the graduation rates? So you gotta make sure that people are getting through. Um, and what are the employment rates at the end of college so you can see whether or not you have you know, a path to a job. Um, so all of those things are really important. I, you know, I think that students need to be really aware of the fact that they can get a really high quality education at state, you know, community colleges, state schools for a lot less money. Try not to get wrapped up in the glossy you know, brochures that get sent to your house and really look at what's the best to help you, you know, get where you want to go. Judging quality in higher education is, is challenging. And it's something that, you know, schools often talk about the experience of, of college as being one of the values that they're selling. You know, and if you're really trying to get a job, there might be trade schools that are available to you to help you get that, you know, certificate. There might be community colleges that can help you get closer to where you want to go. There might be state schools that have really great programs in the area that you want to study that actually could be better um, for your long-term career and a whole lot cheaper than going to private schools. The education between, you know, a public university, a community college, and a private four-year you know, especially in the first couple of years of school, is going to be pretty similar. I think for-profits are selling a whole different thing to a whole different group of people, right? They want people to feel like they're able to advance themselves and get a good job, and those are that's really important, and we think that at Campus Progress, we really think all students need to have access to that higher education. But what we also see, particularly in the for-profits, is very, very low graduation rates. Some of the biggest for-profit schools actually have 85% dropout rates. So people are signing up to take classes at for-profit schools and they're not completing their certificates or their degree programs. <music> Students should look at cost per credit hour, completion rates, graduation rates, whether it's a certificate, four-year, two-year, whatever it is, look at the graduation rates, and look at the employment rates of the graduates. So I think those are all really important things to look at. Make sure that you understand that if you're taking out $50,000 a year in loans, that you know, you're gonna owe $200,000 when you graduate, and that is gonna cost you know, $1,000 a month or whatever it is. Like Students need to get that information before they sign anything, before they take out any loans, and do that research at the beginning. Oh,